Welcome Arisen. The Mystic Knight hits different than any other vocation in Dragon's Dogma. Because of that, a lot of people have trouble getting into it, or even see him as weak. We change this today. The first thing you have to understand is that the main weapon of the Mystic Knight is his shield, and not the sword or mace. Even though you got access to all those weapon enchant skills, I say forget that you have them ASAP and carry enchanted weapons instead, at least for holy slash fire, lightning and ice. I will elaborate about this later on. Before I tell you what skills I prefer, let's talk about the basics of being a Mystic Knight. The Mystic Knight is at its strongest when he reacts to the enemy instead of confronting him head on. Let the enemy attack first and block his attack. If you are a lazy player, this is actually enough already. But we want to have a bit of fun with it, don't we? This is where your sword slash mace come into place. As mentioned before, I recommend carrying elemental weapons with you. This is because your main attack skill, the cannon, will change depending on the element you use on them. A nice side effect of this playstyle is you learn pretty quick which enemy has what kind of elemental weakness. In most fights, you will swap to the best elemental weapon for the enemy at hand, cast the corresponding repost onto your shield, block an attack and then cast your sigil. For bigger monsters you can prepare the area. Cast the sigil and in it your cannon. Then lure the monster into the sigil. Every hit of the sigil will trigger your cannon. While you are standing nearby and zipping on your tea and enjoy the firework. Players who tried Mystic Knight before will notice that I don't use Abyssal Anguish. Even so, it's undeniably one of the strongest skills in the game. So why don't I use it? Plainly said, I don't like it. It takes ages to cast, don't stay very long and it's just not necessary if you use your shield right. This doesn't mean you can't use it. If you like it, do. It is a really good skill after all. Alright, this is what I actually use. For Augments, Articulacy, Periphery, Cloud, Acuity, Prescience and Perpetration. And for skills, Dragon Maw or Antler Toss, Ruinous Sigil, Great Cannon, which also can apply Torpor with a Rusted Weapon, and Blessed Thunder and Frost Repost. For stats I say, Magic is more important than strength, because your repost and sigil will be the main source of your damage, and neither of those benefit from strength. And as always, stay strong and keep your shield up.